Welcome back, Pack Streaker 6 with the Hilo Hounds. Today we are on the Sinai map in the Gazelle doing some maneuvering practice. As you can see right here, I need a little bit more practice at coming in and uh, landing in more confined spaces. And, you know, DCS and its uh, wonderful uh, collision model there for some buildings. I, I wouldn't have assumed that a pyramid would uh, catch on fire like that, but it did. Basically, I'm just going to kind of show you what I do for my maneuvering practices to get better with each uh, helicopter that I've got. And this beginning here is, you know, just more of a little sightseeing tour for you, and we'll get into the nitty-gritty here in a moment. So now, when you're first starting off, I would suggest just doing some slaloming around uh, some telephone poles like this. That way you got to keep your altitude down a little bit, but and you still have more room to kind of mess up if you need to. This is kind of the easier part of uh, doing the practice, but this is a little bit of a warm-up right here for me even. Welcome to the channel, like and subscribe, click the bell, click the link. And of course we're going to get into a little bit more confined spaces. And giving yourself some quicker stops so that when you do run into a situation where you need to stop fast, you can stop fast. So this is all, you know, just uh, practice that I do so that I will be able to do it, hopefully, uh, when the time comes or arises or is needed. Um, this isn't something that, of course, any of us uh, helicopter pilots do on a continuous basis, but when you're in these PVP servers, it's nice to be able to hide in buildings and come to quick stops real quick and and evade through buildings like this because somehow some way you know those missiles just uh, decide to track right around buildings sometimes so basically just take your time when you first start out and then you just speed it up more and more as you go Just remember to try and stay as low and as fast as you possibly can while you're doing these maneuver maneuvers. Um, it's just building up skills and muscle memory for when you need to uh, actually use this kind of stuff. Sit back and enjoy the video footage here for a little bit and I will be back when there's actually a little bit more to say about it. As you can see I got a little bit high there I got a little worried so I had to uh, kind of recompose myself and then I got myself back down low again, a little bit lower than I was before. Started picking up speed. Now here's where you're going to want to start uh, using a lot of collective and rudder authority while you're uh, doing these maneuvers. Don't be afraid to crash these things. They don't cost you anything extra. It's all practice. It's all practice.
Now when you see bridges and things like that, don't be scared of them. Try, try to go underneath them and uh, it just gets you more used to and more confident in your flight skills. As you can see there, I was kind of dragging my tail rotor on the ground there. Uh, luckily, I didn't bust it off on that uh, quick stop. Once more, I'm going to try my skills going underneath these bridges. And it's going to be even worse because there's buildings right on the other side. And look at that, I just crashed. Like I said before, don't be afraid to crash them. It's all about learning. Now we'll get into a little bit of rooftop landings. Right here I'm going to actually show you a textbook rooftop landing. Which won't be the case in all of these. Here's another one where I'm coming up kind of fast. And I come around and I actually have to look around to see where there's a good spot to land on this one because of course I was coming up from the ground there and I wasn't being able to see exactly what was going on there until I got up top to get a better visual. Always find a good landing spot before you go for it. Right here, I got a little bit nervous as you can see right here. And I second guessed myself. And don't second guess yourself. Sometimes it'll end up in tragedy. Other rooftop landings, once more I'm coming up. Don't know what it's like up top, I gotta find my landing zone. Look, I think I found my perfect landing zone. I'm coming in and land a couple of feet too short. Sometimes you might just wanna take a scenic route, but when you're taking those scenic routes, always make sure that you find some sort of an obstacle to go under or around. And last but not least, try to come in fast on your landings just so that you get way better at your landing skills. That being said, I hope you enjoyed the video and Streaker 6 is out.